Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this commentary edition of the winning products that we find every single week for you guys. Now, my name is Enrique. I am from the DSM Tools team and I will be showcasing 10 different products that I have found this week, earlier this week, to show you a very good listing, a profitable listing. Now, before we get into it, I want to quickly show you this Dropship Academy page that we have where is going to be in the description down below the link so you can click on it and you can read different articles very useful and informative articles especially for people who are just barely starting this dropshipping business so if you're a beginner this is a great place to read and get to know how dropshipping works and so on and so forth moreover we do have more information when it comes to e-commerce as a whole so if you're interested Click on the link in the description down below. You can be able, you'll be able to have the um, access to all these useful articles. Now, to what you guys really came for. So we have another landing page. This is the dsmtool.com/calculator. Again, this is going to be the description down below. So in here, you'll find different things. Like for example, if you scroll down on this section where it says start your own dropshipping business you can go ahead and click where it says start now for free and you'll get access to a great training program from you know especially a uh, special guide for you from A to C where you're gonna be learning how to properly set up your account on eBay how to link it to our DSM tool how to start using it how to find when your products and so on and so forth a lot of useful information for those of you who are barely starting this business as you can read here we conducted a survey in which 68% um, of the people who are actually participating on this poll uh, said that they made their first sell within less than a week so that is a very good ratio and we show you how to do that so without further ado let's go ahead and click on where it says get a copy so by clicking where it says get a copy you'll be sent to this page this is a Google sheet page that we created for you guys where we have first of all the calculator part right so here you can calculate your potential profits so what you do is you put the cost of the products on your sourcing website the shipping fee if there's any shipping fee the eBay price that you would that you would like to set the price for and the number of sales maybe that the product has had so far in the past 30 days or all overall so for those of you who have been following this series this small series you already know how to use this you're just here because you want to figure out what are the next 10 winning products that i found but for those of you who do not uh, have been following this is completely new for you then i will quickly show you on the first product how to calculate this is very simple and very practical anyhow over here we have the break even so 12.55 percent that is the new ebay managed payment that is the percentage that you will place but we normally tend to bump it up to 15 percent because if you're drop shipping in the u.s you know that there are different sales tax with depending on where you're drop shipping right depending on the state uh so there's some states that they do charge a sales tax others they don't so the safe side is always to put the break even between 14 14% uh, to 15%. Anywho, if you click on where it says AliExpress, you'll find the 10 different winning products that I found. So I update these every single week. So uh, maybe towards the middle of the week, today's Wednesday when I'm recording this video actually, uh, I take my time and find different products that are going to be profitable for you as a dropshipper and just place them here so you can see here the column that we have the profit this is the the profit that is made out of every single cell then we have the sales made in the past month uh, if you multiply the amount of sales times the amount of profit you'll get the profit that the product has made so far in the past 30 days keep in mind that I am grabbing this items from other drop shippers so we can be in the same competitive line. So the drop shipper that is actually selling this item has made $107 so far in the past month. But in overall, the total sales that this had that this uh, seller has is 34 for this item, meaning that this person has made a total of $202.64 in general for one simple item. So you can go ahead and uh start you know sourcing the same product and you can sell it yourself is a very good product as you can see a lot of sales made and a lot of sales made in the past month so i'll be quickly explaining how this works what i analyze when i find a good product on ebay and where i source it from which in this case as you can see is aliexpress and i'll explain that why in just a couple of minutes 
Now in this segment, I'll be putting a screen record as well of the sales tax page that I found this is going to be in the description down below as well. So here you'll be able to see the different uh, sell, let's say tax rates depending on the state that you may be drop shipping. So just take that into consideration if you are in fact drop shipping within the USA. So again, you can go ahead and click on the description down below to have access to this page and let's move forward. Okay, so let's start with the first product. So the uh, the dynamic that I'll be using is I will be clicking on the eBay products page, right? Then I'll be clicking on the source website page and I'll be explaining quickly how this works. Now, uh, I'll be trying to explain in details on the first on this first product for you guys to understand what do I analyze and what you need to analyze and learn and actually take into consideration. After I've done this, then pretty much the same process goes for the other products. So I'll just quickly go over them and uh, explain them super briefly. But right now, let me go in detail. So as you guys can see, we have a rechargeable mini self-defense electric shocker, right? You have the product here, so you have here the different uh, pictures. Now, the first thing you really want to uh, actually get to notice is the amount of sales. So the amount of sales made so far is 31 sales um, so far, right? Overall, right? So that is the first piece of information that you really want to know uh, before going further. Second, since we, in this case, we're using AliExpress, which is a Chinese website, and we are sourcing from China, and I'll explain a little bit why I do this, at least for beginners, you want to really know if this person is actually doing the same thing. The way you do that, or the way you notice that, is if you scroll down where it says shipping, you can see that the shipping information is based from China. So we have here that the, the item's location is in China. So most likely this person or this seller is a drop shipper who is pretty much sourcing products from maybe even potentially AliExpress. So we have that going. You can also notice the uh, item's location is if you scroll down on this page and where it says shipping and payment on this tab, you can see here the item's location and that it actually ships to worldwide. So yeah, most likely this would be a drop shipper that is a very good giveaway. And once you've determined that, you really want to determine, okay, so we have a product being sourced from China with 31 sales. You really want to actually get a product that has a very, very de good demand, especially something that is being sold right now. Because you really want, to, this is like a hot potato. You want to sell your items or your listings as quickly as possible. So we always recommend you guys to look for products that have at least generated three to four sales in the past 30 days. The way you get to know that is if you click on this small link on the amount of sales, it's going to direct you to this transaction table. Now, right here, you'll be able to see information such as your user ID that's not really relevant, the variation that was uh, sold, the, that was sold, yeah. Uh, I mean, that could be relevant at some point, I'll explain when. But for you, you really want to actually see the date of purchase. So, as long as you see here that this item has generated one, two three four yeah and let's say five so four within the past month because we're still in august we're in august 11th so the last purchase was made august 8th then fifth fourth third so we have four sales made in this month already so this is a very good product so you can you can tell that people are buying this item so now that you determine this, you want, you want to source the same item elsewhere. In this case, could be AliExpress, could be a US retailer such as Amazon or Home Depot, it doesn't really matter. For now, I'll be using AliExpress and the reason behind this, as you can see, I found the same product, is because you can find very good items that have a lot of sales uh, in China from Chinese suppliers. So a lot of people think that China is not the best way or the best supplier because they have a lot of, let's say, they have a good reputation when it comes to product quality. But, you know, it, it could be true, but just halfway through, uh, true because, to be honest, a lot of, us, uh, first off, a lot of items that are being sold on Amazon or on eBay, they actually come from China, but you don't know it, right? They might be purchasing inventory from a Chinese supplier and then, having that same inventory placed on a US, in a US warehouse and they can ship within the US, you know, providing a very good shipping method. But nonetheless, that product might be coming from China. 
So, you can find very good products, very good quality products, and I'll explain how you can actually analyze your supplier. In this case, analyzing the seller here in AliExpress. And you can find it at a super low price. So, our angle is not providing the best shipping method. Obviously, we want to provide a method that is, you know, fast enough. But where our angle is, the competitive standpoint is the price that we set, right? So the goal is to co to be competitive against this seller here, this bear business seller here, and sell this item for a lower price while maximizing or getting a very good profit margin. So that is that is why we choose to source from AliExpress. We can find the same item at a super low price. Anyway. Here, when you find the product, you want to do a couple of things. First, you want to determine the actual price. It could go depending. In this case, it doesn't. It just has one variation. But depending on where you want to ship it from, then the price will change. If you want to ship it from China, then you have one forty nine dollars. If you want to ship it from France, then zero point zero one cent. So obviously, we're using um, China. Uh, in this case, as you can see as well, if you choose France, unfortunately, if you drop ship in the U.S., you will you will not be able to because it cannot be delivered there. But if you use China, which is the main goal, then yes, you can uh, go ahead and offer this product. Anyway, now we have the real uh, cost of the product here. We have the shipping. Now it's time for us to choose a shipping method. So. Normally, when it comes to AliExpress, depending on the seller, they might they might offer two methods like this one, or more, or even one method. The normally my main go-to would be either AliExpress standard shipping or ePacket if you find it. Why? Because first of all, on the tracking column, they do have a check that means that they do offer a tracking number. This is super important when it comes to being a seller on eBay. It's going to help you with your seller metrics if you upload a valid tracking number. Not to mention the fact that you'll be able, along with your client, to track where the package is going. So that is a very important point. Second of all, when it comes to delivery time, it could take between two weeks to up to three weeks. Sometimes it could take less, so that depends a lot. But this is again, this is only an estimated delivery time. But it doesn't. It, it, it so the the longest it would take maybe three weeks. So that's really not important. There's a lot of users. You might think, oh, a lot of people will not buy from me because the shipping time. Well, trust me, there's a lot, a lot of users on eBay willing to wait a little longer, but paying less. Okay, so that is again, that is your competitive standpoint offer the product at a cheaper price so and not to mention so the last thing i really like about aliexpress or epacket is that they are super cheap like this one uh, 1.89 cent or sometimes it comes for free so for example in this case we have free shipping here in this carrier uh, which is the canayo super economy but this does not offer tracking number this would mean that this this would go by c so if you're sourcing from europe which is a different continent right um then the only way to import products are either through air cargo which is faster or c c cargo which is slower and normally air cargo offers a tracking number so never 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 go for um carriers or methods that don't offer tracking number they are slower and it's not just it's not efficient so again aliexpress center shipping or epacket would go your would be your main go-to's so we just go ahead and apply that and now we analyze the supplier so the first thing you want to really analyze here is the the amount of orders and reviews so you want to find somebody reliable the way you do that is um to see how many orders that the item has been placed on that seller's page. So this item has 169 orders, meaning, um, well, out of the 169 orders, this person has 19 reviews. You can go ahead and click on it, you can read the reviews, see how well this uh, person is performing, so it's a good product, only if you grab it and then, <laughs> only if you grab it and it touches you, well, of course. So very, very good. So you can, you can kind of read and see if the people are happy overall with the seller. Remember that you will be working with the seller, you know, uh, uh, drop shipping means that you never get to see the product so you want to actually guarantee that the source that you're grabbing the product from is good so okay so you have this and you have a 4.5 star rating 68 percent of the people who bought this gave a full five stars so it is a good product this is ensuring quality assurance um but yeah so you want to actually check out the amount of orders 
never go for less than 10. Um, one of our views, never go for less than 5. And never go for less than 4.5 when it comes to the product star rating. Now, you want to also check where it says positive feet battery. You can see that on the upper side of the page. So this person has 94.8% uh, positive feedback. Now, this is a very good standard-ish feedback uh, percentage. Uh, it actually is being analyzed by three main metrics. So we have items that describe this would mean that the person who bought or purchased from this page actually got the product that was provided on the pictures. So it's the same thing. So that's good. Communication is how well is the communicate or how good is the communication between uh, the seller of this page and the clients, and then the shipping speed is out of the shipping methods that are being offered on this page. Are they good? Are they fast enough? Are they reliable? Yada yada yada. You get the point. Now you can see here that this person has below average on all three, but that doesn't mean anything because you know what? I've seen a lot of people who have the same the same amount 4.6 4.5 and they're above average so there's a lot of there's other factors or variables that are taken into consideration but as long as this person has 4.5 or more then you're good you're golden because again you can see that this person has 94.8 percent never go for any less than 90 percent here where it says positive positive feedback you want to find somebody reliable or at least good enough right not great but at least good enough anyway and lastly you want to check on where is the, the policies that the seller is offering this is to guarantee or assure your customer uh, so at long as long as they offer some sort of policy like this one 70 day buyer protection money back guarantee is very very is an eBay policy as well then you're golden so once you've determined all that plus the cost let me show you how to use the calculator itself so let's head over to the calculator and first we want to determine how much profit or potential profit that this seller right here this dropshipper this bare business is gaining out of every single sale so we have here this is being sold for eight bucks and 99 cents so we put that here so we put 8.99 and now we're going to we're going to be putting down the information of the sourcing website. So we have the cost of the product 1.49. We put it right here. One, sorry, 1.49. And then the shipping cost or the shipping fee is 1.89 using standard shipping. So we put that here, 1.89. And there you have it. Now, if you want to get to know how much is the overall profit or potential profit gained out of the sales of this item we can put down this uh, this number which is 31 31 sales overall we put it right here and boom there you have it so as you guys can see here out of the cost shipping ebay price we just get, we already give you the fees that you need to cover and out of the fees you need to cover then the profit per sale is 4.48 dollars this seller is gaining 4.48 dollars out of every single sale as a profit margin that is a that is a 49.85 profit margin a great profit more anything above four dollars would be considered a profit making product okay we already give you a recommended selling price but i always neglect this part because really it's totally up to you as long as you sell this for a lower price you're golden so what I do is I normally apply the 99 cent strategy, meaning sell it, sell it for, let's say in this case, less than a dollar. So let's say well, 7.99. And we still have a very good margin, very good profit margin of 3.61. Or you can even sell it for $8 or you can even sell it for $8.25. It doesn't really matter uh, as long as you're cheaper. Trust me, as long as you're cheaper, people will go to buy from you, especially because there's a lot of impulsive buyers. You know, and as long as you see something cheaper, I mean the same product but a cheaper price, then they're just gonna purchase it anyway. So this is the first winning product, and this is the longest explanation of this product. I really wanted to crack it down and detail it for you guys so you understand what I normally see. Obviously, obviously there's a you know a broader pro process of this, especially when it comes to finding these items. We, I have a lot of videos of how to do product research, but if and I'm going to put it over here somewhere so you can guys click on it and actually get to learn how to do this. Anyway, this is the first winning product, and now at this point I'm going to go quicker. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so now let's go to this mini atomizer inhaler here. So let me just quickly show you the product. 
on each page. So we have here the product $37.99 is being sold for $37. Bucks, well, $38, let's say. Right? So again, this is a product that is sourced in China. Right? This is being sourced from China. This found the same item on AliExpress, right? Free shipping using AliExpress and their shipping. Remember, I told you guys that you could find that. I would just try to figure out which one you want to sell. So let's say this one, we have the $18.85. That is the total um, price, right? The cost of the product, 4.7 star review, 39 reviews, 135 orders, right? Very good. At least one uh, business policy, we're golden. And this product gave the seller a total of 14 bucks with 37 cents imagine 14 dollars per sale so the so this number here the total amount of sales can be changed so depending on how you optimize your listing right so depending on how you do that and how you actually work with ebay if you're active and so on and so forth i do have a video specifically on how to optimize properly your listings if you want to be placing it right here so you can click on it this number will go up eventually right so if this number goes up this number is going to go up as well anyway this is the second winning product now let's go to this uh third one this foam mat right and let's say summertime's coming and you really want to sell something related to that so you have this floating water mat here is being sold for 53 bucks or with 99 cents nine sales made so far again all this is being drop shipped or at least sourced from china uh, we find that I found the same product. Look, the same item with the free shipping, even even with two different business policies with a 70 to 75 day buyer protection along with the free return. Um, four reviews is fine, just good enough. 26 orders is good enough. 4.5 star rating, 95.7 positive feedback. Look at this. See, so we have this uh, at least two above average. Uh, and one below average, but it's above 4.5, which is good. So we have an overall good supply right here. So this item has generated $10, $10.50 to the seller out of every single sell, right? And nine sales will be equaling 94 bucks um, in total made out of this item. So let's go to this one right here. This is a Naruto AirPod case. A lot of people really like this type of products so we have here this is being sold for 13 bucks 25 cells made okay so you see that there found the same product so you just need to kind of choose the same variation if you want but again it's the same naruto uh, product the shipping we go ahead and uh, use the aliexpress inner shipping in this case it's the cheapest one and it's aliexpress inner shipping anywho look at the pasta look at this guy has five 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 on each single criteria not a hundred percent positive feedback so we have somebody that has 95 orders maybe just one review that's fine but is doing very good is doing pretty well this might be a new seller here but is actually doing pretty well so it actually gives you some sort of comfort anywho uh this product has made 29 dollars in 30 days 4.87 dollars per sale 116 dollars in the past uh, well, overall, out of 24 cells, okay? So we had that right here. Now let's head over to the 3D Funny Face iPhone cover. That is this one. Uh, hold on, let me just go ahead and open it on AliExpress. So we have this one here. Again, the price, the amount of sales. This is being drop shipped from China. Found the same product, even the same pictures. Look, so you can... So over here... So in this section, I normally like to see, okay, so when it comes to having different variations of one same product, right, where it has different features or different materials or whatever, or for different iPhones or phones, I tend to see what is the purchase tendency, right? So what is what is the, the variation that is sold the most? Could be some sort of variation or maybe just depends. So... It, you don't have to do this, but for me, this is a strategy if I just want to focus on one variation. So I click on the transaction table and kind of see the tendency. So we, okay. So material is for iPhone XS Max, iPhone XS Max. Okay. But now we have iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 mini, and the features might be changing. So, okay. So I know that this one, the material is something that is a common denominator. So we can put that here to actually determine the price on this page uh, 
hold on what was it it was for iphone 12 mini right and the feature doesn't really matter you just go ahead and you can see that the well the price never changes but we need to find a set or try to find something very similar in terms of variation on aliexpress so there you go for iphone mini you can choose whatever color and there you got there you have it see so in the same product i just this is this was just some random thing i just did but this is funny so the same item the same exact product this is being sold for 8.75 and i found it for 1.79 dollars choose the only the shipping and then you're golding okay all right so this is this product right here this is being sold uh, this is generating 3.61 dollars now let's go to a thick winter coat for women uh, you can see it right here guys now if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section down below or in the chat box on the right because this is going to be a premiere video and i'll be trying to answer uh, answer it while being live or premiered if not i'll be just try to get back to you guys as soon as possible through the comments or again in the description down below you can find my email if you have any specific questions uh then you can go ahead and uh, just hit me up there anyway we have the product right here we have the same product right here and i'm going to go super fast i don't want to you know and it's saturday i don't want to take too much of your time this has been uh this generating 17 dollars and 16 cents six sales overall 102 dollars made so far now look at this one right here this t-rex scale model i found this is a very interesting product this is a home decor product i personally wouldn't buy it but a lot of people well 12 people are actually buying it sold for 39 bucks found the same product for 10 68 dollars and this item as you see it there is <laughs> $20.61 total profit per sale. 12 sales multiplied 20.61 times 12. We had 247 bucks made out of one simple skull model home decor item that in my case I just wouldn't buy. But it's not about me, it's about what people want, right? That is being a seller or a, even a drop shipper because you don't have, you sell different categories of products. So you just care about making the sale. That's it. Anyway, so that's that product right there. Now we go to this one. This automatic mechanical watch. This is a very neat product. And as you guys will be able to see here, this item has generated 51 sales so far, being sold for $20. Uh, $20. But uh, depending on which one, let's say this one variation, the quartz one, is being sold for 23.24. Again, this is being shipped or located in China. Found the same product, same quartz for $15.50, free shipping. This will be giving me a total of $4.82 per sale. But if you multiply this times 51, you'll get 245. Now I'll take a look at this juicy product right here. So you'll have this win that is the uh, brand of, uh, normally when it comes to branded products you have to be very careful because of the vero uh, restrictions but this one is apparently good the, no there's no very restrictions found whatsoever when i was doing my research so this item here that is being drop shipped on ebay this jumbo size putter for people who like golfing has generated 110 sales so far look at that Right, so you have this being sold for $11.99, found the same items being sold for $7.12 here. 30, uh, 739 orders, 155 reviews, 4.8 star rating, 95.9 positive feedback. This is a very good, good, good seller. And this is uh, AliExpress in their shipping with $0.53, so cents, sorry, um, as a shipping fee. Now, take a look at this this product although the amount per sale is a small amount 2.84 the demand that this product has is so crazy that you multiply 284 times 100 and in this case 110 510 you get 1448 dollars and 40 cents so far out of one simple product and since we added three sales more because three sales were made so far right now we're going to check that out as well so in this case we'll have to up, um, upgrade and update this number to 30 
so yeah we have 85 sell 85 dollars made so far in just this simple month so you can continuously if you find a product that is just performing outstandingly you can continue selling the same item over months until eventually it goes down but you can gain a lot of profit because of it so if you check on the transaction table you can see here that the last purchase was made here on august 11th so are we in august yeah so this was the last purchase was today today was the last purchase made so for 11.99 so people are actually buying this see it's a very good product would you say and lastly we have this hyper soft running sneakers for me this is a very cool product i would purchase i would personally purchase i love to do sports so i would purchase this one this is a gp gbp i normally go to if you want if i really want to figure out the dollar amount of this it's very simple just go ahead and do gbp to to dollar to usd there you go and just put down this is pound sterling so just put down the number it's 1594 we put 50.94 and there you have it 22 dollars so far so this is the actual number that you want to take into consideration found the same product right here and this product has made five dollars and 76 sell uh, cents on every single sell and just this product has generated 20 oh 24 cells so two two cells more from the day that i found it uh, meaning that now I have to change this up. So a total of $115 made in the past month and $138 made so far. So to summarize it, we have a listing, right? Of a potential profit of $650 in 30 days. Total profit $2,078 in $708, sorry, dollars. This, this, this will be profits is your profit, your actual profit margin, the earnings you'll take after every single sale keep in mind this is only out of 10 products your listing could be up to 200 imagine what you can do if you actually take your time and find good products anywho thank you so much for watching guys if you stuck to the whole video i really appreciate you just leave a comment set on the comment section down below if you like it if you didn't that's fine as well as long as you comment like this video subscribe hit the notification bell button and see you on the next one guys bye bye Oh,